chat. I don't want to say it too loudly. This should be a good day today for points. You know, we have Spielberg, then we have Silverstone. Ignore the low-speed cornering. This should... <laughs> we should really be competing for points in these next two races. They are two races that actually suit our car. If there's a chance to get into Q1 this season, today's probably the day to try and do it. I don't want to set the expectations too high right now. But that is... Also, it's a sprint race weekend, so there's even more racing. So more chances for us to crash and bottle our weekend. I hope not. I hope not. I bloody hope not. Do I take new, RS, new ERS units for this? It's 2.5 million. We don't. We have 6 million in the bank. It might be worth it to take it for this in the next race. That, mind you, that's a penalty then. Oh, if I was thinking ahead, I should have done this last race. Ah. I think our wear kicks in at 35%, so maybe we're fine. If it wasn't a sprint race, I'd be more tempted, if I'm honest. The engine's in good nick. We can get a fresh gearbox without a penalty. I feel like penalties we probably should avoid at all costs. Um, good news. Pacher's car's not been smashed up as much between him and Logan Sargent, so actually he's good to have fresh bits without having to take anything new. So uh, that's a nice positive. Okay. Qualifying. I want to get to Q3. I said Q1 earlier. I meant Q3. We all knew what I meant. We wanted to get to the final qualifying session. I think we got early here. Now, I've heard, and I'm going to pause while I discuss this. I've heard that if you do a run plan for two laps on flying laps, the second lap is always quicker because they, when you have it on automatic, they don't... I think it's a combination of the, the tyres don't get heated very well for the warm-up lap, but also... The, sometimes the AI doesn't properly accelerate into the flying lap. But whereas if you do back-to-back -back flying laps, they do. So do we do two flying laps? Or is that cheese in the game because there's a bug? Well, not a bug, but it's just the way it seems to work at the moment. I mean, should we do it with Albon or not with Pacher and see the difference? And then we could always do Pacher with it later if we need it. I want to see what the performance difference is, to be honest, because I've not tested it. So I think we do it in this session, which I think we'd get out of anyway. And then we review. We'll do it with Albon and not with Pacher. And I just want to see the difference, to be honest. I want to see how strong it is. Because I've heard at Zanvo it's good, but I don't know how good it is here. Albon, please don't get blocked. Although he's got two flying laps here, so maybe it doesn't matter if he gets blocked. Maybe it's genius. Oh, no. Was, that, was he blocked there? It's hard to tell sometimes if they actually slow down or not. There's a lot of traffic here. So how much quicker is Albon going to be here on his second flying lap? It's almost less important the comparison here between these two laps and how much Albon improves on himself, assuming he doesn't hit traffic here, which I think mean, there's maybe one Red Bull he needs to worry about. Okay, Albon is massively down on Pache because he got blocked. So this is going to be interesting. Does Albon go way quicker? It looks fairly clean in terms of the track in front of him. He should catch this traffic, I hope whilst in the DRS part of this lap. We'll see. We'll see. Right. How much quicker do you reckon he's going to be? That is clean. There's no more traffic up the road. What is the improvement going to be on Albon? So Albon is seven temps behind Pacher, who's now on a cooldown lap. He's not pushing. How much quicker do we reckon Albono is going to go? He should go quicker. He should be close to Pacher, but how much quicker will he go than Pacher is the real question. Ah. Uh... I mean, it's quicker, but it's not significantly so. I don't feel like it's game-breakingly cheesy, is what I was wondering. I know it varies depending on circuits. I think at Zanvoort, it's close to, like, 0.8 seconds. I've seen people say, again, not got to Zanvoort yet, so not tested it. Also, it seems like a lot of people got blocked there. Uh, I don't want to want to burn another set of fresh softs knowing it's a sprint race weekend. I'm going to gamble on album. I think we send Pacher out again. And we send him out on the same run plan that we just sent Albon out on and see if he improves. That'd probably be another test. Our car should be quicker this circuit anyway. This is a this is something that suits us reasonably well. We can already always get Alex ready. Do I send Pachet out on used softs? Is he really going to put in them? I feel like those tyres that he's just burnt up are probably done for, to be honest. We've got enough fresh that, freshes, I think, with him that we can just send him out. Chat, do I look like I belong on the Williams pit wall right now? Like, do the shorts sell it? 
want to can you even see the shot oh i oh, know the jiggling of my belly is almost hypnotic when i jump like that i'm aware i think albon's fine i think we gamble on albon being fine for sure i'm gonna send out and i'm sending him out for two flyers so we'll send him out at i want to say around three minutes I could get him out early. There's lots of other people going out here. I hope I've not left that too late for the second lap. He'll definitely get one go here. To be honest, the second lap might be pretty compromised here, depending on how many laps these other teams are doing. Also, Bashir going to get mugged off here. I've not sent Alex out. It's too late to send him out. Alex is fine, I hope. I've not taken a gamble like this before. I've never felt so alive. Albon's going to be fine. Okay, Teo. Is he going to get blocked here? Okay, the Aston Martin is not on a flying lap that I thought it was, but he's cleared him. Albon's just chilling. Albon's going to be fine, right? Chat, is Albon going to be fine? I think he's going to be fine. Gemini's redeemed a hydrate. Where's the bottle? Be interesting to see if Pache goes quicker here on his first lap. Because he, I don't think he really got blocked before. Albon's fine, everyone. Let's just reassure ourselves that he's fine. Oh, God, he might not be fine. Alex, I'm really sorry. It's too late, mate. We can't send you out. Uh, it's going to be fine. It's going to be... Everything's going to be fine. I am calm. Pacher has improved. And he's now on a second flying lap. Now, theoretically, this second flying lap should be even quicker. But it depends on how these other cars are set up. Henku, thank you for some of the tier one, by the way, as well. I appreciate it. Will I stream FM on Twitch again? Probably not the Norwegian uh, boy, I'm afraid to say. Right. T Albon's in danger. Although, are these guys on flying laps here? Okay, Piastri... Did he get to the line? No, he didn't. Okay, we're safe. We're safe. Everyone else is on in laps. Everyone else went out really early there. We're fine. Expertly judged, Jack. Pat on the back. That's why you dress like a principal. Dress for the job you want to get. In my case, I want to be a 10-year-old Williams fan. That's the, that's the kind of job that I want. We got purple sector one there with Pacher, by the way. The double push is definitely good. How? I mean, sector one, we should be suited to. He did go slower in the, at the end when he got blocked. Uh, that's good. That's You know what? I'm feeling like a Q3 appearance could be possible. I'm thinking I do the double pushes with both drivers early. Gives them two flying laps to try and avoid traffic on fresh softs. Which actually kind of makes sense on this track anyway. They're both on fresh softs, right? Yeah. Let's get out early. Push twice. Push hard. Try and get one lap without traffic of the two. Hope the second laps are good. Let's get a car into Q3, ladies and gentlemen. I've dressed up in full Williams gear for this occasion. Also, this is very good in terms of the traffic. Very, very good. Magnussen is on a push lap ahead. We are not going to hit anyone here. So we're definitely getting in clean laps on fresh tyres to start. This is good. This is good. How hot am I with the hat on? Yes, is the answer to that. It is a bit toasty. The hat is actually on the biggest size it can have. And it's still a bit tight on my head. Chat, apparently I have a big head. I don't know if there were different sizes of hats and I didn't pay attention. That could be a thing. Okay. Can we get some solid laps in early? I feel like we're going slower than... Actually, no, it's Leclerc who's gone quicker. That's fine. I was thinking if the Haas is going quicker up the road, that's a concern. Okay, the Haas has still gone quicker up the road. Did I not tell... Are they not doing the two pushes? Chat, did I not... I definitely told them to do two pushes, did I not? Am I crazy? Am I crazy? I feel like they were both set up to do the two. Did I misread? Was I not paying attention? I mean, Pacher's done well there. I mean, it's suboptimal in the sense that that they've pitted. I swear that they were set up. Set up plan. Run plan, sorry. Fly Definitely set to two flying laps. Did I hit exit and not confirm? But it was on that before I hit... I feel like it was on this already, which is why I hit exit. It doesn't do it. Uh, it doesn't do as told sometimes. Okay, other people have had this issue. Well, chat, we can't cheese the game. Right. When do we go out here? Three minutes? 
I mean, Pacher's laps have been blistering. I feel like every set, every quality he does pretty well. Every quality he does well. Oh, there's a yellow flag. Oh, I thought someone was about to crash out. Chat, I don't want to alarm anyone. There is, there is a chance here that we can get two cars through. I want to believe. Pacher is in 10th. Okay, he's in 10th after lap times have been set. Perez, I don't know what Perez is doing. Perez is getting blocked a lot. Verstappen's getting blocked as well. Is he about to revenge block us here? Is he about to revenge? Don't revenge block us. Don't do it, Max. Oh, Max is behind us. Did we get blocked going into the first corner? There should be two flying laps here. So if we got blocked, it's not disastrous. Right. I want to believe that this could be a day for it. I don't think the previous laps were flawless. We're definitely going to get second laps in if it's been set up correctly. Might be a bit of a bit if. Look, I've won a f I'm have wearing a hat. I'm wearing a Williams shirt. Surely that's the difference. We don't need to buy new parts. I just need you lot to buy Williams merch. I really should get an affiliate code with the Williams store, shouldn't I? But no one else is buying these £50 shorts. I'll tell you what, chat. If we get a driver through to Q3, I'll put my desk to the lowest height so you can look at my shorts up close. I hope that isn't gonna be, that's not going to be too TOSE, is it? If I lower the desk all the way down to floor level. The shorts are not comfy. They are not £50 shorts. This traffic is awful. This traffic is really bad for the double push. We're definitely double pushing as well. Are these other guys pushing in front? I can't tell. I think they are. I think this might be okay because the cars in front are also pushing. We're definitely pushing. Are they pushing? One of them's the Haas. Yeah, okay. The Haas is double push. Did the Haas is double push as well? I, don't, I can't even tell. Good news. We're not getting blocked too bad. Did Pasha just pass someone? No, Pasha's on an in lap. So Pasha's doing an in lap and Alex has listened to the instructions. Well, that's it. Yeah, it's definitely not consistent. Right, Alex, the hope's on you, son. The hope's on you. That's the flag. He's going green. He's going green, I tell you. And he wasn't that far behind Gasly, who's no longer going to set a time. This could be good. I feel like we've gained on them as well. Al Bono, is it your time? We're in 10th. Do we have any chance here? Stroll's coming round. Is Stroll on a flying lap? Stroll and Norris are on flying laps. Chat, pray. I'm not, a, I'm not a man of religion or faith, but I am a man of F1 manager gods. So if they could do me a favour here, I... Is he going quicker? I mean, it's he's going very quick. It's not like it... Chat, it's over. It's over. I, I've, it's, it's a pissing desire. I mean, NT. And there's a sprint race to come. Please go slow. Oh my... God. No, no, never mind. There was a half a second there. Oh, Norris has done Pacher as well. 11th. Is that a new best for the season? That might be a new best for the season, to be fair. That's decent. We'll take that. Enjoying this F1 manager video? Want to play it yourself? I have teamed up with Fanatical using the link f1m.workthe.space in your web browser. You can get a mighty fine discount and also help support the channel. Blimey, right. It's the sprint race, folks. I feel like we I need to limber up before the sprint. Give me a mo, just just warming up. Oh. Oh. Right, I'm warm. I'm ready to sprint. Let's go. I feel like I want some, you know, I have the tiger on or something. I'm ready for the sprint. On your toes, Lance. On your toes. Ready to react. I had to get the shorts in again. Oh, do we get the gladiators on? I think it's time. I'm ready. Pissing out. My knees went too high there. My hammies are gone already. Come on, lads. It's time! Du, 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 du. Race. Um, let's see how we go. Oh, come on, lads. It's the sprint race. I really need a Williams sweatband. Right, we're going on board with Teo. We can watch Albon in front. Oh, wait, we're on board with Albon there. Teo, what can you do? At what point do I actually stop jogging on the spot? Go on! This is, this is this is content. Someone said they were watching at the bingo. This is better than bingo, folks. Let's be real. Oh, my. What's the, what the pissing hell is happening here up the hill? What are we doing? Why are we here? Albon's in 10th. I don't want really to get carried away, but we're going on board with him. He's doing K-Mag. Is everyone on mediums? Everyone's on mediums. 
I've not even got my Fitbit on. I'm not even tracking this exercise. It's a disaster. I need to get the exercise bike out of the sprints. I do have an under-desk treadmill as well. Come on. I can't stop jogging. It's got Albon upper place. Oh, I love this bit. It's a great verse. I'm glad that, you know, on YouTube we don't get DMCA'd for a 90s TV show intro. Come on, lads. We need top eight. When do I stop? Oh, yeah, DRS is active lap two. I feel like I'm up in the ante here, really, chat. Let's go. Come on. Imagine watching me on YouTube with Football Manager and then you tune into the Twitch streams for the first time and you're seeing this. Come on, lads. I'm not doing this for 24 laps. Oh, I probably should... Probably should watch the fuel and stuff as well. Probably. Because there is the sprint race. Do it till the song ends. You know what? That's a good idea. Paul Harrison is going to have to watch this and edit this down. Imagine what he's thinking right now. We're on the track now. Push yours up to 13th. When did that happen? Come on, my son. Are you a gladiator? Oh, this is my first time on Switch. Welcome aboard. Bloody hell, Albon. We need to calm down, son. It's hard to click as well. I think I, I did lower it there. I'm not doing this every sprint race. This would be a disaster. Go on, Albon. Wait, this is Pacher. Go on, both of you. Albon's not getting him. Teo in the braking. Come on, do it for the lads. Up the hill, mate. This is yours. He's got DRS. He's not getting him. They've got DRS as well. I feel the power. Russell's not got DRS here, though. Albon might be able to get him. Go on. Try hard. Oh, we have to watch the tyres, mind you. Bloody hell. How long does this song go on for? Strolls in P1. What the dickens is happening at the front? Uh, Max doing, please. I've never cheered for Max Verstappen before, but I don't want Stroll winning a race. That wouldn't feel right. That would ruin my immersion. The gladiators. Right, I'm done. I'm taking off the hat. Bloody hell. Look what's happened here. What's happened? Chat is a disaster. Whose idea was that? I'll wear the hat over the top. Flawless. You know what? You might not like it. This is what peak physical condition looks like. What happened to Albon? I blinked and we lost a load of time. Oh, the... I'm fine. Are we just not good in a straight line? Is that what's happening here? Do I let my drivers race? Oh, God, do I let them race, chat? It's, it's, it's just not possible. What do you mean it's not possible? This is one of our races, as Alex. Races, as technical terminology. Go on. We've got a great view here. Pichet's just at the front here, eating popcorn, watching it all go. Right, I'm letting them race. What's happened? What's happened? What happened? There's a crash. Ghastly. I think it was behind us. What happened behind us? I mean, I needed it to be in front of us. Oh, wait. Was this... Ghastly got the penalty here. Oh, my... Wait. Do we just game places? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We're in 10th and 11th. Bloody hell. I've got a nosebleed. It's not even a safety car. Russell's back on the track. Ghastly's back on the track, but with a penalty. Did they mess their tyres up? No. Oh, what do I do, chat? Do we let them race? <laughs> when has that sentence ever gone wrong before? Oh, Teo's done him. Teo's actually done him. They both had DRS as well. I think I think we let them at it. You know, what's gone wrong before? We need 8-4 higher for points during the sprint race, just as a little reminder. I'll tell you what. I know Pacher has been wildly inconsistent. You can't argue against the raw race pace. Like, the talent is there. we just got to tame the talent. You know, we've got to just try and, you know, put it under control a little bit. The tyres are overheating. Right, you know what, Teo? You've had your go at him. You've not pulled it off. Team order's coming in here, lads. Get out of the way, Teo. You've had your go. You, you didn't take your chance. Now you have to sit and think about what you've done whilst you top up your battery. I hope you're happy with yourself, Albon. You're pushing here, son. We charged up your battery. You probably are the better racer. Pacher, I think, has the pace, but not the racing. You know, this, this is the man management required at the elite level, folks. You might not like it, but that, this is where we're at. Look 
at that. Albon, he's the GOAT. He, he could be the GOAT. Now, to be honest, I don't see us catching Ocon up the road, even if we do get Claire and Magnussen, which I don't think is guaranteed. Nice. I think now we try and get Bashir in front as well if we can. But um, if there's a crash, suddenly we're in eighth. That's what we need now. I mean, ninth and eleventh would not be terrible at all. Just, I, I don't, you know, I don't want to say I'm settling, but going into the race, it'd be our best qualifying spot on the grid for the main Sunday race all year. I say that Magnussen's going to cause Albon trouble still, but also Toto's tires are still overheating. Albon can't pull the gap; it's a disaster. Everything's fine. Have we got points yet? They say we've got points twice. We've got points in Australia and we've got three points or four points in Spain. Yeah. It's a bit of a shame this is the sprint race, isn't it, really? Oh, Kevin's fast, isn't he? Kevin's fast. All right, Teo, just chill here, mate. Just chill. You're not fighting your teammate. We need to save the battery. Save a bit of fuel. Save your tyres because you have been cooking them. You're like me in the kitchen, son. You're not good at cooking. You're not good at maintaining temperatures. You just kind of turn up the heat and, you know, eyeball it. Albon is really racing Magnussen here. But we're not catching up, are we, to the others? Lads! That was that was a bit much, wasn't it? Oh, now Hulkenberg's got DRS on Pachette. It's a disaster. It's a pissing disaster. Oh, bloody hell. Right. Mm. I mean... Bashir's not got e DRS now, and he's not really got a lot to defend with here against Hulkenberg. We've already seen how good the Haas is in a straight line. Although, I say that. I say that. Albon's just done him. See you later, sunshine. I I, I don't know, mate. I'm afraid to say. I, I don't, like, lodge in my memory the recommended specs and the min specs for the game. I, like, apologies. Oh, my... You are an idiot, Kevin Magnussen. I hate you. I hate you. Kevin. 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 That is so... He's in the sprint race. He's just murdered our qualifying. He better get the penalty. Albon got the penalty. Are you kidding me? What do you mean? Now this was at turn one. What do you mean? this point. There, the cars make contact. That, will have that happened in Baku. Sure. That happened in major front wing damage. I mean, if he's got a penalty as well, just retire the car, mate. We might piss here now. Oh, chat. Is it on the tyres? Oh, there's retired car. Just retire. I feel sad. I feel sad. It's just not worth continuing here. We need to pit to fix the damage. By the time we pit, it's a five-second time penalty. We're at the back of the grid. We'll take a penalty on the grid with new parts so we can get an extra ERS. I'm fine. This isn't happening, is it? I'm trying to kid myself into thinking that we could do it. Although, chat, there's one lap left. There's one lap left. I'll, I'm saying there's a chance. I'm going to say it. We have hope. We have hope. What happened to Albon? Uh, Kevin Magnussen happened to him. Oh, my God. Why am I pushing for ninth? It's fun, though, isn't it? It's fun. Come on, Teo. Can we push a little bit on the fuel? If I get ahead of him, I can conserve at the end. Oh, surely not. Surely not. We need DRS. We will get the DRS for this run-in. There's a chance. I don't want to alarm anyone. There is a chance because we've got the DRS. I think I've timed it to perfection. I could be a genius. Can Hulkenberg now get past us? That's the real question. I have to save fuel. It's marginal. Do you agree that your team's drivers are more likely to get taken out? No. I've seen a, a lot of crashes this season benefit us. Pesher's vanishing up the road. I don't, I don't get carried away here. I think we've done it. I think he's done it. I mean, it's not eight. I'm sorry to the person who put 250,000 uh, channel points on top eight. That's not happening. But that's... Assuming he doesn't crash here. I don't want to jinx it. That, my friends, is a mega drive from Teo Pesher. A round of applause to Teo. He's benefited from the people in front. But that is not too bad. 
First driver outside the points for the sprint race. Albon's going to be at the back, but Cher's going to be a ninth for the start. That's not bad. Albon is at the back, so we could try like medium soft softs. Someone's pointed out that's not actually a terrible shout at all. That is a, that's a, I don't want to flame half of your chat. That is a rare good shout from the chat. Just to do something marginally different, given the fact we're at the back anyway. Because if Albon's on those softs to start and he can't get out of traffic and there's other people on mediums, he's muddered. Whereas it's a lot less likely there'll be people on hards. I feel like points are doable there. Hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say it. I think there's a chance. Penalty warning. That's fine. We're already at the back of the grid. Yes, we're exceeding the limit. I'm okay with that. Why is the setup percent so low? Because I don't do practice. And also, it was a sprint weekend, so there was fewer practice sessions. Okay. There was crowd already. The cars are ready. I don't know if I'm ready. But lights out. And away we go. I jumped the gun there. I jumped the gun. I got I got excited. Pusher, you're in ninth some. We're hopping on board with you to see what's crackalacking. What tires are people on? Okay, lots of medium runners around Albon. That's not terrible. Pusher needs to try and clear Hulkenberg and Ocon on the mediums as fast as possible. That is going to be important. I fear. Let's see if we can make it happen into this turn. It's what we need. Oh my. Okay, well... I don't think it could have gone much, much worse than that. So that's, that's good. Hulkenberg's got his place back immediately. No DRS for two laps. I agree. I'll, I'll swear to. Solidarity with Pusher. Albon's made up one place. I guess Albon needs to be aggressive on the overtakes as well here. Although it is medium runners around him, right? Oh, Sonoda's on softs. Albon has overtaken De Vries. I am shocked. Uh, Colour me shocked. De Vries... Being overtaken. Actually, we can push this Increase still. Go on, Albon. I know Sonoda's got the sauce, but Alpha Tauri have not scored points this year in this career mode. They have been bottom for ages. So, surely we're going to get past him here. I say that. Mm. Maybe not. Oh, yellow flag. VSC. What happened? Who crashed? VSC. Who's had a moment? I didn't see it. Who... Chat, what happened? Hulkenberg. Hulkenberg crashed. Nico! That's what you get for murdering my race last time. Oh, he couldn't handle the Pacher pressure. He couldn't handle... Pacher was up his chuff, just barking away like a little terrier in a dog park. It's great Pacher's in ninth. That's one of the medium runners who was ahead of us out the way. That's good. Someone else has spun. Surely that is just the Hulkenberg incident, right? If someone else has spun under VSC, that would be embarrassing. Now, the issue here is going to be Bashir is not in range of DRS on Ocon, so we need to close this gap on the restart. Also, VSC, does that mean DRS is active immediately? Because it normally would be, but I don't know quite how that works when the VSC is so early on in the race. I assume because we're past lap two, it would just be active right away, which is not great for us, if we're being honest, but we'll try and make it work. Right, so it's probably important here, mate, that we we get by if we can. No pressure on you. So does Norris now just have DRS on us? No. Okay, that's fine. I, I wasn't sure how that worked. We're fine. That's a very niche scenario there. Albon's in 17th. To be fair, Hulkenberg's crashed, but he has cleared Sonoda. Should we watch it? Let's drink it in. Let's enjoy it. We're going pod racing today. Oh, I love it. I love it. Through the final corner. <laughs> Maybe pushed him wide. You Use the track. Use the track. It's okay. Oh my god, Teo! Are we behind him? Are we? I don't think we were behind him there. He's going to have DRS here. No, Pacher's got the DRS. He's a genius. He's a pissing genius is our Teo. Now make the softs last, mate. Nothing silly. Although we kind of need to try and get into DRS range on Alonso if we can. But he's on softs. He and Hamilton are stuck behind signs on mediums, though. And the medium runners are slow. This might be okay. Albon's to Magnussen and Bottas. Albon, are you okay, son? Yeah. <laughs> Albon's having the race of a lifetime. Have I got drive clean air on, Pacher? I haven't. Chat's telling me I've got drive clean air on. Fake news. Yellow flag. Who's crashed? I'm not quite sure what's happened there. Who hit him? Who hit him? Right, let's have a look as we go. Have I just been hit by Ocon? Are you kidding me? 
impact on the car, it's quite clear. A bitter blow too. He better have a penalty for that. He better have a penalty. You can't just stick it up the inside there. It's like Lewis Hamilton against Albon in real life. Has Pacher got the penalty for that as well? That is poppycock, isn't it? That is, that is just poppycock. I don't care what anyone says. No, I'm signing too, mate. That is a joke. It's a disgrace what the FIA... 11 positions! Fix the penalties! Oh, that's right. No one got a penalty for that. Of course they didn't. Of course, that one was just a racing incident. Not that I'm bitter at this point. You know, I'm fine, everyone. Oh, Albon. Albon, you are my only hope at this point. Help me. Help me, Alexander Albon. You're my only hope. Oh, God, it's the Kick TV team. We don't like this team. We're the only team that get penalties. I've come to the conclusion. We are the only team that get penalties. Oh, my God. We've not gone into the back of him there, have we? That looked marginal. Great move, Alex. I mean, Albon's in 13th. He's like, his medium tires have a bit more life than some of the other medium runners as well. Piastri's slow in this game. We have to clear Piastri, then there's a bit of a gap. It probably isn't a bad idea just to try and top up here for a few laps, or harvest even. Use the McLaren for tow so then we can break it DRS more easily. Oh, chat. Teo's just at the back. <laughs> I just feel sad for him. Does anyone else just feel sad for him? Reduce coast. Is that just me? Yep. Albon has served his grid penalty. He started at the back of the grid for this race. He has got a fresh engine here. If other teams have not taken new engines or are running short, because we are hitting that point where they will start to. Albon's got DRS here. We just push. We yep. just push. Alex, vanish up the road as best you can, son. Through this corner, try and get a second ahead. It's very ambitious. It's not going to be the case. Oh, I'm so sad. I mean... Piastri's been dropped here as well. What tyres Piastri on? Piastri's on the mediums as well. Alex Albon he is still on deploy, mind you. But he's, he, he's done the business here. He's a man of business, is Alexander Albon. He turns up to the grid with a briefcase. And you don't mess with a man with a brief briefcase. They are men of business. They are intimidating. There's, you know, probably a Timo Glock in it or something. I just want to get in DRS and then conserve for a little bit behind them. So if they want to keep battling, that'd be good. Yellow flag. What's happened now? Who's crashed into who? Pacher's not the one who's crashed, is he? He's right. In ah! I think someone went wide in front, actually. I think it might be one of these two guys. I kind of feel like at this point, I don't want to push the fuel too much more. Oh, I was about to say, I just need to wait for them to battle. They're battling here. They've mugged each other off. Pacher's overtaken Bottas. Show me it. Show me it. When, when Teo's not getting taken out, the boy can race. He showed it in the sprint race. Easy. Should hopefully get DRS for the next bit here as well. Is he? Oh, no, never mind. Oh, don't crash into the medium runners, Teo. Please. Thank you. Oh, okay. Ignore. It's, it's not his race. He's very sweary, isn't he, Pacher? The thing is, these guys aren't vanishing up the road like using DL Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Norris has crashed. I mean, is that good? It's probably not good, to be honest, because they were battling with each other. But, I mean, we're up a place. I guess we take it, but that might just see now Ocon vanish. <laughs> Why couldn't they take each other out? Why couldn't why couldn't they take each other out? That would have been useful, wouldn't it? Gasly's just pitted. Has he gone soft, soft? Did, did Pierre just go soft, soft here? Was that is that what he's done? Uh, da, 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 Pierre Gasly. Yeah, he's gone soft, soft. Interesting. He's gonna well, he's gonna have to pit again. Everyone's gonna have to pit again. We are technically now in tenth. You know, I don't want to get anyone's hopes up. Technically, now in 10. Okay, Norris is pitted. Was Norris running mediums? He was. Okay, so he's the first medium runner to pit. <sighs> Magnus has just been overtaken by Gasly. Gasly's on fresh softs, mind you. He pitted early for those softs. 
Gasly might have to go hard at the end here to make them last. Even though he's going to have some mediums that he really holds out on. What kind of gap are we going to be pitting into here with Alex? If we can get him out ahead of Bottas, that'd be nice. Ahead of Piastri, he's going to be very ambitious. 13 seconds. That's okay. Gasly's on fresh softs. He was always going to vanish up the road. Sadly. I'm really paranoid about Magnussen Pitt in this lap. Alonso's still on softs, by the way. Alonso's vibing. Is Magnussen going to pit? No. Okay, that's good. Pit window's going to open for us this lap, I believe. Uh, yeah, undercut him this lap. Hopefully he doesn't pit this lap, otherwise that is bad for us. I'll compete it for hards. He can't be on hards to the end, can he? Could he? I don't think the one stop's quick. I mean, we've shown good overtaking with Albon with how he cleared the pack earlier, so I kind of back him more on soft soft than I would on hards to the end, to be honest. Okay, Albon, need a mega stop here because we're going to be racing Magnussen. Can we get him on the undercut? Okay, good, very, very good pit stop time. That's probably a top five pit stop time, if I had to guess. I'll tell you what, I'm bloody good. I'm a, they call me Mystic Meg. Ah, I was really hoping we'd clear Bottas. I mentioned that earlier. We have not cleared Bottas. If we can clear him here, this is really good because we've got the DRS off him as well. Okay, great. Is Magnussen going to pit? Is K-Mag about to pit? That is the... The big question on everyone's lips. No. Okay. Interesting. We can still push because it's such a short lap. Our tires aren't up to temps. If we could get DRS for Joe for the start finish, this would be pretty perfect with how we've hit the traffic for the undercut. cut. And I think this is actually going to work out for us almost perfectly. We should clear him easy here, right? Yeah, he's on used me. Is he on used mediums or fresh mediums? Yeah, he's on those mediums. Yeah, okay. I've got to be wary of the life on these softs, mind you. But that is good for Albon. That's really, really good. Chat, how are we all doing today? I'm curious. How many people... I want a show of hands or a yes or a no. Have you bought F1 Manager yet? I'm wondering how many people are watching who have bought the game. Magnussen's just pitted, by the way. And how many people just watch and maybe aren't going to buy the game? I'm, I'm just curious where the split's at. I feel like it's a lot more 50-50 with this guy. I feel like this is just a fun game to watch. What is, it? is Magnussen going on to hards here? Or softs? Okay, he's going on hards. I mean, we're going to come out way ahead of him. Is he... They got a pit stop issue? Well, that's, um, that's unfortunate, isn't it? That's... Oh, you, ha you, hate, you hate to see it. Sorry, Kevin. Dickhead ruining my sprint race. I'm fine. I'm fine. I don't ha hold grudges. I don't, I don't hold grudges. Oh my word, someone just went wide. Who was it? Piastri. Piastri's got Pichet's up to 15 for Magnussen's next up the road. I don't want to get carried away. Pichet could have a bit of a recovery going on here. Teo's about to be lapped. Oh, don't tell me that. Oh, well, he is as well. Has he, oh, wait. I mean, Perez and Verstappen are fighting for the lead here. Teo, you can determine this race by not getting out of the way. Teo, do not move out of the way. Make a stand against the FIA. Just block it for these two. They're battling away for the lead of the race, the Red Bulls. Teo's the next car of the road. Teo, don't move out of the way, mate. Cause carnage, Teo. Oh, great move. He's done well there. He, he has mudded Perez. I'm not sure if he's mudded the right driver, but he's contributed. That's probably the most he's contributed to this race, bless him. But he has, to be fair, we do not get DRS if we can stay in range of the Red Bull which we're not going to be able to do for very long. But while we can, you know, why not try and catch Magnussen and Sonoda now with the Red Bull DRS? Did we get it? Are we even within a second? We did get it. I'm a genius. Right, Teo, you are now a Red Bull driver. Just pretend. Just pretend, mate. This is genius, chat. This is 200 IQ. Pashier is going to get back up here. Purely based on the DRS that we're getting off the Red Bull. Keep going. These guys are going to have to slow down in a second to get out of the way of Perez. That's going to benefit us. Follow him through, Teo. Act like you belong. Just pretend that you belong. Look at it. 
Keep going. We are, we are in third. Teo, you're in third, mate. You're behind Perez. We're racing Perez. This is all part of the strategy. Just follow him through. Or just lie to him. He doesn't need to know he's a lap behind. It's like when you, you know, give a controller to a younger sibling who didn't know how to play any video games. He pretended they were controlling a character. That's what we're doing with the adult version here with Pasha. You, you're playing the game, mate. The controller's definitely plugged in. You're in third. Keep going. Albon is about to get lapped which is somewhat problematic. I think we do one more lap on these softs. We cook them for one lap, then we can push the mediums a bit harder at the end. How close is Pacher to pitting? I think Pacher's going to need to go on to mediums as well here, you know, chat. Although we don't have mediums to go on to. We only have softs. Okay, Pacher, you have to make these last. I'm sorry, mate. And how much you like to eat your tyres? Oh, God, pit stop. Pit stop. Pressure, chat. Pressure. Need a clean pit here. Need a clean pit. What are we going to get? Massive. That is a sick, fastest pit for the day if I've ever did see it. Oh, my. I've done it again. I've done it again. Chat. Chat. I'm... I'll tell you what. Pit stop expert. Right. Tell you, mate. I don't mean to be rude here, mate. Let him pass. Get out the way. I love you, son. But today I love my other child more, and I'm sorry. No, it's just, it's just one of those things, mate. You've got to accept that you are second best here. Why is he not getting out of the way? Oh, we had to let the Ferrari through. Oh, it's a disaster. It's a disaster also. Pacher's tyres have already started underheating from conserving for half a second. It's not great. So Teo is a pit stop behind Albon. Madly, right? I could call me deluded. Both drivers have had incidents in the two races today. We're going to have to buy sort new parts for them. I actually feel like we've done kind of well besides the incidents. Uh, may maybe I'm huffing. I'm hoping now on these mediums, by the way, we can just follow through. Is it signs? Yes, yeah, signs on used mediums. He's going to be pitting soon anyway. So we might be able to just use him as a bit of a DRS carry. But actually, well, we've not crashed. We've made up some places and actually had pretty good speed. It's just we've crashed twice. So it's not great. No, to be clear, you can't manage an F2 team now. But um, we were discussing earlier, what would you rather have? Create a team or the ability to manage an F2 and F3? Is Alex trying to unlap himself here? Is he really trying to unlap? I rate this. I've, that's the first time one of our cars has ever unlapped themselves. I've got tears in my eyes. I never thought I'd see an F1 manager. I'm crying. I'm crying. Like, literally, I'm getting a bit emotional here at what I've just seen. Did we unlap ourselves? Did we unlap ourselves? We did unlap ourselves. We've gone over the curb there, Alex. I'm not going to question it. Oh, are we really letting some... We just let signs... We just overtook signs. Why are we now letting him past again? Excuse me. These blue flags are a disgrace. Right, well, we'll just follow him again, I guess. He's going to pit this lap anyway, so there's not even a benefit to pushing here. I will say, and I know it's very easy for you to sit there and go, why is he not pushing him? This game is very hard to stream and do all the micromanaging at the same time. Like, surprisingly so. It, it takes a lot of brain power to be able to talk about comprehensive, semi-interesting stuff. I won't pretend I'm always interesting. But it takes a lot of brain power to be able to talk over this game, pay attention to what you're doing with your drivers in this game, and also, on top of that, actually by kind of directing the camera and watching stuff that is important to watch happening. Like, it, it's not as simple as you'd think it would be. We slowed down so much for Leclerc, didn't we? Oh, on, so, like, what, 11 seconds up the road on fresh mediums? I hate to say it, chat. Need a safety car. <laughs> need a safety car or a red flag. I need to be able to get us on fresh softs. Which I do believe we have. Do we still have fresh softs? Not, cl not a clue if we do have them or not. And just during the stream, what the hell happened for half of us to lap the other half? Well, to be fair, this is one of the shortest. This is the shortest track of the year. I want to say, and we've just not had a safety car, so there's not been anything to bunch up the pack. 
We have the same wear as Norris. This is like Miami. I've just this is Miami all over again, isn't it? Remember the Miami Grand Prix? It was just two hours of Norris and Albon just passing one another. That was a thing. I just realised because Pacher has been lapped as well, we can push because we're going to do a lap less. Keep pushing, son. He's been overtaken by Gasly, hasn't he? Yeah, Gasly's passed us and now we're scared to overtake him because of blue flags. What's the gap from Pacher to the guys in front of oh, 20 seconds? He ain't catching them. It's all about this battle here. Lando Norris is trying to go up the inside. Don't crash, lads. Don't crash. Don't do it to me. I'm fragile. I'm a fragile, feeble old man. I can't have my, dri my driver crashing again. Lando Norris is constantly racing Albon. And it's mad how Piastri is always way off the pace of Norris. I mean, it's down to the stats the drivers have, but it's a pretty good indicator of how important the driver stats are in this game. I love the fact I'm getting really fixated on a battle for 12th. 12th gets us nothing. It's absolutely pointless. Okay, Albon's got DRS. Can he, can he clear Lando? It feels very unlikely for it to happen, I'll be honest. Tao. At least it's not... You know what? If, he's, if there's a time to lock up, it's probably now. now here we are, tackling turn three. If, if there's a time for him to mess up... It's a shame he didn't take out Gasly, really, isn't it? What caused that, I, wonder? I wonder what caused it. Definitely not lack of talent. Lando's still barking. Get me to the end of the race. Get me out of here. I've had my fun. I've had enough. It's been a lovely weekend in Spielberg. I mean, we might be about to lap someone. There's a VSC. What happened? Who's crashed now? Is it a bad crash? Wait, is it a full safety car? No, it's still VSC. Leclerc crashed. Charles. What happened? Did he hit anyone? Of all the times they're now... Oh. Can't imagine a Ferrari crashing out like that. You are very stupid. He's very stupid. Where does that put us now? I mean, we can harvest. Is it a full safety car? Or a VSC? It's still a VSC. I'm hoping for a full safety car. It's not happening. Albon is now in 11th. Chat, I don't want to alarm anyone. There's six seconds left. Uh, What's Magnussen's tyre situation? T Magnussen's one-stopping on hards. Chat. Chat, I don't want to give you hope. But. I'm going to say now. No like there might be a chance. In terms of chances, sure. there might be a chance. Also, Pacher's lockups mudded his tyres. Pacher might not even make it to the end. The VSC's ended. I need to get on board with Albon. What's the gap to Magnussen like? I mean, they were under VSC, so the lap times don't help here. Where is Kevin? <sighs> Whoever this is, I think it's Bottas. I need Bottas not to go ahead of Kevin, otherwise he gives Kevin DRS. I'm stressed. He's not that far away. He's not He's not that far away, is he? We're going to get DRS off the alpha here. What time did he set for that lap? I don't know how much the VSC affected him, but that was two seconds there. Oh, my word. Pacher's really struggling to get heat into his softs, by the way, after locking them up. Albon. Albon's the focus. I'm sorry, Teo. Wait. Oh, my word. The Alphas just unlapped themselves. They're now blocking him. This is genius. Who is it? Is it Bottas? Valtteri is Jack. You're doing a tremendous job, mate. I've always rated you. One of the goats is what I've always said. We've still got Lando behind us. But if I don't look behind, he's not there. Just... Just... Don't... Don't turn around. That's the secret. I mean, Magnussen's losing a lot of time. There's still three laps left here. Mind you, we've been lapped. I'm stressed. I'm stressed. Our tyres are more cooks than Norris's, so I'm a bit scared to push too soon. I think even on standard, we will catch up. I mean, Magnussen's now getting DRS off the Alfa Romeo that is a faster car because of the tyre situation. Oh, chat, there's a point on offer here from absolutely nowhere. This could be... F I was going to say last to first. Last to points. I forgot there's a prediction on points as well, isn't there? Okay, Magnussen is now not going to get DRS. I need Bottas to get out of the way quickly here. 
I was cheering earlier, wasn't I? Bottas, if you now want to block Norris, that'd be good. Did he block Norris? Oh, Norris has lost loads of time. What happened to Norris? Okay, Norris lost a load of time. He's two seconds behind. This is great. I'm, I'm not scared to push now. Chat. Chat. There's two laps left here. And I think we will get him. I don't want to jinx it, but I think there's a very good chance. Kind of don't want to overtake him here. Kind of want to overtake him into the next sector. Just let, stay behind him. Stay behind him. Stay behind him. Stay behind him. We want the DRS. That's the play. Now we vanish. Now we can clear him easy peasy. We've had to get out of the way of a Ferrari. Who is it? It's Carlos Sainz. We've got out of the way of him well. I bet that's why Norris lost time. Albon's already on aggressive chat. I've already told him to push. He's loving it. We're in 10th. I'm trying to remain calm. There's still a lap left. I don't want to get carried away. But we're one lap away from points. And I don't know how it's happened. But share, by the way, his tyres are dead. Sorry, mate. You're, you're doing great. Don't let the chat tell you otherwise. Albon, we're on board with you, mate. You're the man that matters. Magnussen is out of DRS range. Chat, there's one lap. It's one lap. He just has to drive it cleanly. One lap, mate. I've just told you it's one lap. I'm, I'm trying to remain calm. In case you can't tell, we'll deploy on the next straight any battery that we've got. How has this happened? We've snatched a point away from the jaws of... I was going to say defeat. It, it was not defeat, just nothing. Oh, Magnuson's dropped. Just don't crash. Just don't crash now, Alex. That's all you have to do. You don't need to push. You just need to vibe. You drive this sensibly, we get a point from nowhere. Fuel's fine, chat. We've been lapped. I don't believe it. I mean, Pochere's in 13th as well. Well done, Max. Good win for you. But the real winner, you know, Max Verstappen, he wins every week. We don't get points every week. He has gone from last to 10th place. We've hung it in through to the last. He got crashed into by Magnussen in the spring race. It would have been unjust if Magnussen had finished ahead of him. Take that, Kevin. Take that. Eat it. The hat. When I put the hat back on, magical things happen. You know what? I could have done a Red Bull save game. But then a point like that doesn't mean as much, does it? Let's be honest. That is the most significant point we've ever seen. Oh, my word. Poor editing Harrison is going to get halfway through that and think, well, that was a write off the last 10 laps. And then he's going to skip to the end of the race to edit it and go, we got points? Well done, Teo. Teo getting 13th isn't bad either. Great racing. Mega by Albon. Strategy was good. Strategy was good. The two-stopper, aggressive, trusting his race pace. Worked over the one-stopper. Oh, I've got a career. I got an achievement from Steam for completing 10 races. Was that our 10th race? Shout out to the believers. What was the prediction like here? 476,000 channel points were on yes. 600,000 were on no. Oh, 10 places. Teo lost four places, but he did get hit. And then have to serve five seconds. It's a massive point. No rain. Only a, was that only a VSC? Was there a safety car that race? There wasn't a safety car that race, was there? It might look insignificant, but that little plus one there puts us only two points behind Haas. So that was two VSCs, which doesn't really benefit you that much. I'll tell you what, that is so annoying, isn't it? The uh, issues that Pacher had. And it... <laughs> Oh, tell you what, that's it feels like a lifetime ago since I was jogging on the spot. If you're watching on YouTube, you've just watched a very long video. So you can watch us live at twitch.tv slash work the space. We're live most of the time. I really should get a better schedule, but the best thing to do is just follow me on Twitter.